Hi, this is Jared Walton, and this is my benchmark sequence for Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. There is a built-in benchmark. It has three different scenes, all of which are kind of short. I didn't like that. Uh, it, it just makes it a little more wonky to try and capture the data. So I came up with my own test sequence where I run this path outside of the resistance headquarters. You could see where I aimed when I started. Be aware of time of day. It shouldn't be raining. It should be daytime. Any time between late morning to early evening seems to give about the same performance, but you definitely don't want it to be raining. If it is, you need to rest and recuperate. Not really recuperate, but you need to rest past time in the game in order to get back to morning. And then it usually will be more consistent in terms of performance between different cards. You could just rest until morning every time you do it or try and swap cards and such uh, settings eyes on medium there same thing for ultra here go to ultra turn off motion blur i don't want motion blur on everything else is the same and you just set the resolution to either 1080p 1440p or 4k no upscaling enabled and uh yeah let's go ahead and get to the benchmark again you're right outside the resistance headquarter door aim toward the center of this plant if you do Y twice, that will auto run, and then you only have to just kind of steer and aim. So hit Y twice, hit scroll lock for frame view capture to start, and then run along this path. And you'll also, on this log up here, want to hold space to jump because there's a little exploding bush beneath here that if you just jump off once or run off, you will take some damage. That's about it. Uh, the game technically does have ray tracing. It's not clear what the ray tracing does because the reflections and everything else aren't really that different. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up and a like and a subscribe if that's what you want to do. We'll see you next time.